Unlike Easter or Christmas, Halloween is not considered a Christian holiday. Yet, it's celebrated today by many Christians and churches all over the world. In fact, many churches actively promote Halloween and hold events and meetings celebrating this day. So, what is Halloween? And why would you want to think twice about celebrating this holiday? Every year, Halloween is celebrated on October 31st. On this holiday, people dressed up in costumes, many of them being related to monsters, death, witches, and spirits. Children go trick-or-treating, where they go door-to-door -to, -door to strangers' houses and ask for candy. In this video, we'll talk about the origins of these Halloween festivities and how this became Halloween as we know it. Origins What we know today as Halloween came from two sources, the Celtic paganism called Druidism, and of course, Roman Catholicism. First, let's talk about Druidism. The Druids were the pagan priests of the Celts over 2,000 years ago. These Druids had two main holidays, the Beltane to mark the birth of summer, and the Samhain to mark the end of summer. During the summer, the Celts paid tribute to their sun god, Baal. At the end of summer, they would pay tribute to their god of death, Samhain. This latter ritual, Samhain, was the Druids' most important ritual of the year, taking place on November 1st. The Druids believed that on Samhain, the veil separating the dead spirits and the living opened up, allowing the dead spirits to visit the living. Frightened, the Celts would wear costumes and masquerade as demons, evil spirits, ghosts, goblins, etc., hoping to convince these roaming spirits to leave them alone. The Druids also performed human sacrifices. They would require the firstborn child of each family, and these children would be sacrificed on the eve of Samhain, October 31st. On this eve, they would go door to door, initiating the first trick or treat. Upon receiving the human sacrifice, the Druid priests would leave what we refer today as a jack-o'-lantern in front of the doors. History is unclear as to whether this was a literal pumpkin or an actual human skull which the jack-o'-lantern is meant to resemble. This was a treat in trick-or-treat. On the other hand, if the family gave no such sacrifice, the druids would then use blood to paint a hexagram on their doorposts, thereby cursing these homes. These druid priests would then come back later that night to burn down the house or work some other evil upon that family. This was a trick in trick-or-treat. Now, let's talk about Catholicism. You may be familiar with the fact that the Roman Catholic Church adopted many pagan practices and rituals. This was in order to recruit people, including pagans, into the Catholic Church. Halloween was no exception. In the year 835 AD, in an attempt to depaganize Samhain and to use it for recruitment purposes, Pope Gregory IV turned November 1st into a holiday called All Saints Day also known as All Hallows Day, making October 31st All Hallows Eve. That's where the name Halloween came from. This was when so-called Christianity adopted this dark ritual. This is the birth of Halloween. Halloween Customs and Symbols Other than trick-or-treating and the jack-o'-lantern, there are other notable Halloween customs and symbols, such as dressing up in masks and costumes. So where did this come from? During the ritual of Samhain, the Druids would start bonfires as a way of welcoming the spirits that traveled to Earth to join the living. These Celtic pagans believed that some of these spirits were evil spirits, fairies, and gods who were there to hurt them. So in order to trick these spirits into thinking that they were one of them, these people would wear masks and costumes made of animal skin. Halloween and Christianity The word hallow means holy, sanctify, or consecrate. It is a word that is to be attributed to God's name, not Satan. In Matthew 6, 9, the Bible says, After this manner, therefore pray ye, our Father which art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. It is a word honoring God and his name. It's a word that Satan wants to blaspheme and take for himself. Satan's blasphemy is also shown in this paganistic ritual itself. The Druids' requirement of human sacrifice on Halloween was Satan's sick imitation of God's commandments to the Israelites in Exodus. Halloween is a day of fear, death, 
darkness, and most of all, Satanism. In fact, some Satanists refer to it as Satan's birthday. When you participate in a ritual that is imitating, mocking, or fooling demonic spirits, are you not having fellowship with the devils? Soul Winning on Halloween A blasphemous day such as Halloween can be actually one of the best opportunities for winning souls to Christ. This Halloween, you can use this day to reach out to lost souls. If you yourself do not know where you are going after you die, you must realize that you are a sinner on your way to hell. Then, you must believe that Jesus Christ died for you on the cross and that only He can save you from hell. And finally, you must repent to God as a sinner and put your faith in God alone. If you don't understand that, we urge you to check out our video on God's plan of salvation. It's the most important decision that you could ever make in your lifetime. If you do understand that and you wish to be saved right now, just pray. Dear God, I know that I am a sinner on my way to hell. Please forgive me. I believe that Jesus Christ is God, that he shed his precious blood on the cross for my sins, was buried, and rose again from the dead. I receive Jesus Christ into my heart as my personal Savior and Lord. Thank you for saving me from hell. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. After knowing the dark history and nature of this holiday, we hope that you can use this day for God instead of celebrating the devil. Thank you for watching.